Hello folks, it's Kane and welcome to Kane's Corner. We are on the menu screen for a reason. A few folks asked me about how I limited my CPU usage in 7 Days to Die because obviously like I said the laptop's getting a bit warm, it's going to need a clean out soon. But I've ordered a new CPU for it so I want to wait for that to turn up before I clean it out. So this is what I do. So obviously I'm on the main menu here. If I go to this, gives you an idea of the temps I'm currently running. This is the sort of crap, you know, all this cr stuff at the bottom, this is the sort of crap I have running while I'm recording you guys don't normally see. So, I'll back out of that for now. Now, if you press Control, Shift, Escape, you get that. So think of it like playing, pressing Control, Alt, Delete, or Alt, Tab. So you know you, you know you press two keys at once, while well, it's three keys at once. So you get this, you go to 7 Days to Die, you click the arrow there, 7 Days to Die, and you go to... Go details, go to details, sorry. It brings up this. So then you've got this. You do right click, set affinity. This is sort of all the CPUs in your system. So in this uh, laptop's case, it's a i7 10700K. So it's an eight core 16 thread CPU. So it shows up as 16 CPUs and computers start at zero so zero is essentially one and then all I do is I deselect eight of them so only zero to seven is then running you click OK and then if I go back to the yeah it is processors see it's now dropped my CPU usage a bit and there's my temps they're currently about the same because I'm only on the menu but in game They'll sit around 70, 75 instead of 85, instead of 80, 85. Now, the reason I do that is there's two reasons. One, less CPU usage is less heat, so it's better for, for the machine. And the other thing is, the way a lot of modern CPUs work is the less of the CPU that's used, the higher it can overclock itself, because all CPUs overclock themselves. So if you're running all eight cores, I think like this one goes to 4.8 gigahertz on all eight cores. It might be actually 4.7, I don't remember. I've got it set up, I've got it set up custom. But if I am only using four cores, it goes to 4.9, I think, or five, one or the other. Now, the, and the way 7 Days to Die works is it wants speed. It doesn't care about how many cores you've got. It doesn't give a shit. It wants CPU speed. So if you have... A CPU like mine that's got multiple cores you probably want like a six core or higher try that it might help your temps and it might help your performance if you've only got a four core feel free to try it anyway it might work it might not I make no promises you also have to do this every time you load the game so bear that in mind it does not save if anyone does actually know of an app that does it automatically feel free to put it in the comments because I don't know but hopefully that'll help someone cheers